I've known Munmeath for a long time. I met him when I was first running for mayor. And I'd certainly heard of him before. He was elected to the legislature at the age of 28. Uh, he's my MLA, by the way. Uh, we're from the same neighborhood. And I always thought, who is this guy? Got elected at 28, second year of law school, and I don't know about this. Uh, and people I trust and I know kept telling me what a wonderful guy he was. And I finally met him um, as I was running for office. And he expressed his help. He said, we young Indian guys got to stick together. Uh, and I harassed him after that about that ever since. Um, but, you know, I, in my life, spent a lot of time with people in politics. And I am an eternally optimistic person. And I always think the best of everyone. And I know that everyone who enters politics does it because of a dear love for their community. And sometimes, though, you got to hunt for that. <laughs> uh, in, with Munmeath, you never, ever had to hunt for it. It was right on the surface. He wasn't naive. He was a great political player. He was a backroom master. It was one of the reasons why he was so successful. But he always did it out of a deep and abiding love for community and a deep and abiding desire to make sure that every single kid in our community had incredible opportunity. Uh, I'm going to miss that a lot.